Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I will be talking about how can we query multiple CSV files together. So there is a possibility that you are having a multiple CSV files and each of those files are having different different column names or let's say you there is no relation between those files and the data. Still we can go ahead and chat with a CSV file, we can query uh, some things out of that. And this entire activity we will be executing using Azure OpenAI, which is our LLM. And then we will be using Langchain as a framework for our supporting things like creating the agents and create, constructing the object or instantiate our LLM uh, using Langchain. So let me quickly share a few lines of code with you. So these are the dependencies which I have installed. So make sure that you have the latest version of all these dependencies and once it is in place, next thing is you need to set your environment variable for all the necessary credential related stuff. So here I'm using Azure OpenAI. So for Azure OpenAI, we need like key, deployment name, model name, API version and the API base which is nothing but our endpoint. So if you don't know from where I have grabbed these values though, then I would suggest you to go back and check out my video uh, which is like getting started with Azure OpenAI and in that video I have already explained you how you can reach out to Azure portal, how you can create an instance of Azure OpenAI and from where you can grab these things. So it's very straightforward, just uh, have a look at that video. So I'm going to execute this particular cell and this cell will create an instance of uh, Azure OpenAI. Next thing is we are using CSV agent, which is an offering from LangChain Experimental. Then what we are doing here is for creating the agent, it, we need to call create CSV agent as a function, which takes few parameters. The very first parameter is the LLM. So LLM is the one which we just created in the above cell. Then we need to supply the path. So this path is nothing but uh, the list of all the CSV files, which we want to query. So in my case, I'm just taking these two files. So I just mentioned it over here. Then this is the parameter, which is optional. You can even omit it. So then I executed this particular cell. And if you want to look at my CSV files, so these files are not very big. So uh, like six rows we are having in this, and this is the nest related file in which we have the trading date, the day, the closing amount and the volume. Then another file I'm having is related to CNBC news. And if you will see there is no relation directly, there is no relation between these two files. This file is having date and the headline or the news title. So these are the only two files I'm taking. So doing this will create an agent for me. Then let's go ahead. These are the only few lines of code we need in order to query. Let me quickly run this particular cell in which I want to know how many rows of data do you have? So if, I, if I'm invoking the agent, then it will get me the output. So it is saying, so first is analyze these and then it is taking this as an input and this is the final output, which is there are three rows in data frame one and six rows in data frame two. So if we'll go ahead and validate it, so you can see there are four rows, but the first one is for title. So that's the reason it is just saying three. Similarly, here we have six rows. So that's what we got in response three and six. Now, next question I'm asking is how many days of data you have for NASDAQ? Then it will give me the answer that you have six days. So this is the final answer and which is correct as per this particular CSV file. Now let's move on to the next question. I'm not going to execute all the questions because it is going to consume so many tokens. Uh, rather, I will just show you the output which I'm receiving. So here, what I'm asking is, was there any news which mentioned about some kind of stock drop? And the answer it is saying is the news title 20 stocks with the potential to drop. So and so uh, suggests that there is a mention of drop in the news. So if you will go and check the news file, the news CSV, this is the potential drop it is talking about. Next question is, do you see any relation between potential stock drop news and the NASDAQ? So if you are asking this question, you will get a response something like this. No, based on the merged frame, data frame, there is no obvious relation between potential stock drop news and NASDAQ. Because if you will look at the news, the news was published on 11-1-2012. And the NASDAQ data, if I will see here, 11-12, you 
see that there is not much decline. This is certain 76 points. So we cannot consider it as a decline. And that's the reason it is saying there is no obvious relation between these two things. Was this um, next question is was the drop of Nasdaq index in 2012 related to the negative sentiment of the news? Of course not because we are not defining any relation between these two. So it is saying without more information or data, we cannot definitely definitively say whether the drop of Nasdaq index in 2012 was related to the negative sentiment of the news. We would need to do further analysis and possibly consider other factors before drawing a conclusion. So this is how nicely it is responding. And the last question is in 2012, Nasdaq index is growing, growing or dropping. And the answer is it is growing because if you will look at the data, if you will look at the closing amount, even the closing amount is going very well. So 2648 here we have 2669 then we have 74 76 and like I said it's a very slight difference so it cannot be considered as a drop it's just a minor fluctuation but the overall idea here is if you want to query your multiple CSVs together then this could be your one way I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know in comments if you are facing any kind of difficulties in executing this thanks for watching